Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 1 Video 7 on Working with Geometry. Let's take a look now at some more advanced topics, including curve structures. Multiframe has quite a range of functions for generating curved geometry, including functions for generating an arc, converting a linear member to an arc, and using cylindrical or spherical coordinates when using the duplicate command. So let's start out in Multiframe by using the generate arc command. We just have to put in the x and y coordinates of the center of the arc, its radius and the start and end angles. We model our arc using a series of linear elements and we can choose the number of elements that we want to use for the arc. As an alternative to generating the arc we can convert an existing member into an arc. So what I'm going to do now is just sketch in a linear member for the other side of the arc. I select that member and then I use the convert member to arc command from the geometry menu. We can define the arc by radius, by chord height, or by subtended angle. I'm going to use the radius method here, and we can specify the direction of the arc relative to the orientation of the member. That means we can generate arcs out of plane or in plane. So you can see we can quickly generate the other side of the arc. I now select all of those members, and then from the geometry menu, choose the duplicate command. I've chosen cylindrical coordinates at the bottom of the dialog, and that means instead of x, y, z, we see radius, vertical direction, and theta as the spacings for our duplication. So if I specify an angular spacing of 15 degrees, and I choose 11 of those items, then we can automatically generate a dome structure. So creating that kind of uh, curved geometry is quite straightforward. Let's take a look now at how we can do something a bit more interesting. I'm going to start out by sketching some members and then create a spiral staircase from those members. So if I sketch in the first step of my spiral, I can then select that part of the step and use the duplicate command again with cylindrical coordinates and uh, I'm just going to create one duplicate of that step. Then I'm going to sketch in the members in between the two sides of my step. So I sketch from one side to the other and then repeat that on the other side. And then I can select everything except the two back legs of the step. And again, I use my duplicate command. This time, I'm also going to specify that there's a duplication vertically as well as radially. And I'm going to choose, uh, let's say 23 to give me a full arc of a circle. And we can see we've automatically created a spiral staircase. So using the commands for generating curved geometry in Multiframe is quite straightforward and great for situations when you're dealing with curved architectural or other types of geometry. That completes our presentation on curved geometry. Thank you for watching.